Hello friends, as I am continuing to tell some more mythology tales, today I thought I'd do one of the most well-recognized characters in Greek mythology. This is the tale of King Midas. Specifically, two stories. First, his interactions with Bacchus and the Golden Touch, and then how he got an ass's ears. For the first tale, King Midas was rather miserly. He liked the finer things in life. But as many in that time did, he was also a devotee of the gods. And at one point, he performed a great service to the god Bacchus. In return, Bacchus offered him one wish, provided it be within his power to grant. And Midas being covetous of gold, requested that he be gifted with the power to turn anything to gold with just a touch. Bacchus first questioned him. Are you certain that that is what you wish? King Midas, not thinking about the consequences, said, yes, of course it's what I want. Who wouldn't want more gold? So Bacchus grants his wish. And Midas goes about his day delighting in his capacity to turn the clothing, the plates, the silverware, the stones, the roses, all of the many, many things throughout his house to gold. Soon he encountered a problem, however. For the food that he touched also turned to gold. The water, the wine, the fruit, the meat. And if there's one thing the human body is not good at, it is digesting gold. Although he was willing to persist until he made a fatal error. For as most kings, he also had children. And as one of his daughters, who loved him dearly, ran forward to embrace him. He grasped her, giving her an embrace, not thinking of the consequence. And to his horror, she also was turned to gold. Realizing how foolish his wish was, he cried out to Bacchus, Oh, great Bacchus, I have made a mistake. My wish was foolish. Can you cure me of this? And Bacchus, being kindly, instructed him to go bathe in the stream. And that as he did, the golden touch would leave him and go into the water instead. And to this day, you can find fields of golden wheat growing by the stream. So we've already figured out that Midas is a rather foolish man, in addition to being a king. Well, how did he get ass's ears? Well, ask stupid questions, get stupid prizes. In this case, you don't want to be the judge between a contest of the gods. Midas, by some circumstance, was invited to participate as a judge in a contest of music between the gods Pan and Apollo. Pan began with his pipes, playing a merry dance tune. Something raucous and wild. Apollo, in response, played something quite elegant upon his lyre. Although all the other judges decided that Apollo was the winner, Midas disagreed. He preferred the raucous tune that Pan played upon his pipes. In response, Apollo feeling slighted, came to the conclusion that such insensitive ears did not deserve to be human, and cursed Midas with the ears of an ass. Or a donkey, if you prefer. Now Midas was quite ashamed of this, and did his best to hide it, and so only was ever seen in public wearing a turban. But someone still needed to cut his hair. A king can't be expected to do his own grooming. 
So there was one other who knew the secret. That was his servant who cut his hair. And well, the servant did his best to keep the secret, but you can't keep something like that to yourself. So thinking he was very crafty and cunning, the servant dug a hole and whispered the secret into the hole. King Midas has the ears of an ass. Which he then refilled, thinking all was well. But that spring, reeds grew up in the soil over the hole. And as the wind blew through the reeds, all could hear the secret that had been whispered into the ground. King Midas has the ears of an ass. King Midas has the ears of an ass. As such, King Midas became quite the laughing stock. So what do we learn from these myths of Midas? It's to be careful with our words. Many myths deal with the power of language. King Midas is a perfect example of one who speaks before they think. Let us try to be better. To make our wishes with care. And have tact when dealing with those of greater power and authority than our own. I hope you enjoyed these stories. If you did, go ahead, leave likes, comments, do all the YouTube things. Do you have any other myths that you would like me to share on this channel? If so, let me know in the comments. And as always, until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.